All right, so finally we're moving away from the mathematical operators and the operator uh, presidents and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to talk about comparison operators. Now, comparison operators will compare one object to another object, left or right, and do so and return either true or false based on um, the comparison operator itself. Um, they are also called relational operators in other languages, but Basically, we just refer to them as comparison operators. So, what they do is compare the left object to the right object. And depending on what we ask it, are they equal to, not equal to, uh, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to, it's going to do a return uh, true or false to us. Now, these are very useful in programming because it can control the flow of our program and make our program do things based on if something's you know compared in a certain way um, so this goes with our um, control statements in Python we'll talk about them in the future but just so you understand that these are pretty important so let's go ahead and take a look at them. the first one we're going to take a look at is equal to all right and the way we do equal to is equal equal all right so let's go ahead and try one out. Four is equal equal to four. True. All right. How about four equal equal to three? False. All right. So left side is equal to the right side. It returns true. Left side not equal to the right side returns false. All right. So next one we'll look at is not equal to, and we'll do uh, four. Not equal to three. True. All right, because they're not equal. Left side's not equal to the right side, so true. All right, let's try another one. Four not equal to four. False, because four and four are equal to each other, so it returns false. Uh, the next one would be greater than. Let's take a look at that one. Four is greater than three. True. 4 is greater than 5. False, because 4 is not greater than 5. 4, oops, 4 is greater than 4. False. Alright, so getting a little hang of this. How about less than operator? How about 4 is less than 5. True. How about 4, oops, I keep doing that. 4 is less than um, 6. Oh, we already did that one. Two, false. All right. And then four is less than four. False. All right. Um, and the next one we're going to do is greater than equal to. So if the left side's greater than or equal to the right side, then it will return false. So let's take a look at that. Five is greater than or equal to. All right. So we throw in the equal sign there. Uh, four returns true. How about 5 is greater than equal to 5? True. Alright, how about 5 is greater than equal to 6? False. Alright, and the last one we're going to do is less than equal to, so 4 is less than equal to 5. True. 4 is less than equal to 4? True. And 4 is less than equal to uh, two. False. All right. So that's how they work. And I suggest you play around with them just to get a hang of them because you will be using them quite often in your programming career. If you have any questions, leave a comment on our forum. If not, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.